Dini, it seems like firefighters are constantly saving lives and helping people out of bad situations. And not just people, dogs, cats, parakeets. I talked to one longtime firefighter who says he's never seen anything like this before. It was so hot out here, I was just watering. A summer's evening. I walked out of the house. And a surprise. And I glanced across the street and saw this little thing just sitting there under a tree. And I thought, what are you? <laughs> there it was, in the bush. It's the most adorable thing. Staring back at a growing crowd of curious neighbors. It just looks so tired and worn out and hot. They knew they had big birds lurking in these trees. We know that the nest is there. But at this moment, it seemed this creature had fallen from another world and didn't know how to get back to it. We had the idea, hey, let's call the fire department. Because certainly, they'll know what to do. I have personally, over 25 years, have never had a call to return a bird of prey to its nest. So they improvised. Captain called one of his firefighting friends, who's also a falconer. And he assured us that probably if we just didn't hurt the bird, everything would be OK. Firefighters situated their truck back and forth extending their ladder high into the tree. This is a totally new experience for me. All firefighter Harrison Long had to do, fully suited up, was put the bird back. He had two, two siblings, I guess, in the nest with him, and his mother was uh, watching me from a branch away. One of his wings had come out, and he was trying to flap it a little bit as we were climbing up the ladder, but he held it together just enough for us to get him back in. It worked. They were up there within a few minutes, so they did great. A success for firefighters, neighbors, and the hawks from one family to another. We got a mother and daughter reunited <laughs> by a mother and daughter. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> as far as what that bird is exactly, talk to a couple people who believe they were able to whittle it down, either a Cooper's hawk, a sharp shin hawk, or a red tail hawk. In Salt Lake City, Andrew Adams, Castle 5 News.